friends welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be sharing with you a basically a toddler gift guide some of our most used toys for like ages one to three um and especially toys that are really great for a small space as we do live in an 800 square foot home we don't have a ton of room for like really large toys necessarily and i want to be really intentional about the toys that we bring into our home that they last a long time and that they're well used for a lot of different stages and all of that so i'm very excited to get into this video if you're new here, I share all about mom life, I share day and the lifestyle content, I share about our backyard homestead, we do a lot of like cooking and homemaking type videos. So if you like that kind of content, I would love if you would give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and I'm so excited that you're here. So let's get into the toys. Okay, I am sitting kind of in the area of our living room that is dedicated to the kids. Um, so we have a cube organizer back here and this is where we put all of our toys. Some of the toys are taken out because I'm about to show them to you in the video but um, this is where we keep everything that the kids have access to on a weekly basis and I do a toy rotation and I switch that out every few weeks and that works really really well for us in a small space we don't have a ton of room to have like toys taking over everything the kids have a few toys in their room but mostly just stuffed animals and like larger items that um, we just keep out all the time like baby doll stuff um, but aside from that this is the toys that they have access to and it works really well for us I tend to like wooden toys in general not plastic not super bright colors <laughs> I'm a little picky I know but that's just kind of I like the toys to at least somewhat blend in with the aesthetic of our home just because like we don't have a playroom area so I can't just hide these toys in another room like they're here where everyone else is all the time and I don't want it to be super bright and distracting. I also tend to prefer, prefer Montessori style toys in general. I'm not like an exclusively Montessori only person but I tend to lean and gravitate towards those kind of toys and I really just like toys that are open-ended. We don't do like screen toys or like battery toys or things like that because the kids just go through them so quickly like it only holds their attention for so long and they're on to the next thing and i found that with open-ended toys they can use them in a bunch of different ways as they get older and they just get so much more use out of it so we do a toy rotation so that they don't get too bored with the toys we switch them out regularly so everything is always new and exciting and we keep it fairly minimal on what is out we have a fairly good supply of toys like in storage bins that we change out it's not like i have a super minimal setup of toys itself but the toys that are out in our home are pretty minimal overall so that being said i'm going to share about 15 of our favorite toys that we've gotten the most use out of over the years and i would say this is probably targeted specifically to like toddlers ages like one to three or so that's how old my kids are um and i've had these toys through all of those age ranges i think it could even go a little bit older than that and kids would still find a lot of these toys very entertaining and fun but um, that's kind of the general age range that we're looking at here with the toys and most of these you can find on Amazon Which makes it really easy to add them to wish lists for Christmas or whatever to send to grandparents um, And I'm so excited to share these with you So the first that I'm going to share is our pickler triangle. It's sitting here on the side Now we don't keep this out all the time because it is a larger toy and since we don't have a playroom We don't have a space that we can keep it out all the time without like obstructing our living room walkway and all of that But I get it out really regularly and the kids have a ton of fun with it when I first got the Pickler Triangle, Camden was a little bit over a year and then Knox was still a baby. So he really started using it because it was around for like all of his life. He really started using it when he was around six months old. Both my babies crawled early. They both crawled at five months. So he was already crawling and all of that and he would use it to pull up. And I feel like he has gained so many skills having this from even the baby age. He got so much more confident climbing over this and doing different things with it than even Camden when she was already like a little over one when she got it which is just interesting to know but this really helps with your gross motor skills and it's incredible like there are so many things that you can do with it and use your imagination like we play um ports with it they use it as a racetrack with the slide like they do all sorts of things with this and then obviously climb all over it and it's like an indoor playground especially when we can't go outside or in the winter or rainy days and all of that it's a really great one to have on hand this one is a little bit of a pricier investment but it's made like to last it is quality wood like it's built really really well we take it down and put it back up all the time because we store it in a closet and then get it out and it has stood up great for well over a year now and it was definitely highly worth the investment i wanted to at least briefly show all three pieces out so that you could see what they look like we because we have such a small space we typically don't have all three out at once so i'll either 
get out you know the triangle and the slide or we'll get out the rounded piece by itself um the rounded piece we actually keep out in the kids room so that they climb and play on it all the time and this folds up really easily so i store this in the closet and the slide as well and then we get it out regularly for them to play with um but they love this thing there are so many different uses that they can do this slide obviously has a slide part that they also use as like a ramp for cars and then the other side is like a rock climbing wall they tend to use the slide a little bit more um just for themselves to slide down or like i said to use as a racetrack for cars or to slide their stuffed animals down whatever we make forts often with the triangle specifically we'll put blankets over it and the kids it's like a little tunnel and hiding space and they'll read books in there or watch a movie like they absolutely love doing that and then this rounded piece they can climb over the top but you can also turn it over and you can put pillows in it and you can use it as like a rocker and the kids love to use that to like read books in or just get cozy okay next up we have this little racetrack let's see if i can back up a little bit and show it to you it's pretty small overall which means it fits in our cube organizer great um and it has these little cars it comes with four little cars and you just they just go all the way down it's just a fun little and you flip over and go anyways throughout the little thing and it's a cute little toy but they have so much fun with this both the kids love it Knox especially is obsessed with anything cars so anything I can find that is cars is perfect for him and I really wanted some sort of like racetrack thing but that was smaller to fit in our cube organizer and wouldn't take up our whole living room and this definitely fit the job and i'll have a link to this and all the other toys below you can find it in the description so that you can go shop any of these toys add them to your wish list whatever you want to do the next thing that i have the kids also are obsessed with this is a little espresso machine it is adorable it has let's see if i can show you it has a little espresso thing that you put in here and then you turn it and it comes right out into the cup and it's adorable it comes with like a little milk and we have spoons that i keep in the back um and plates that it came with and it's really compact and they just have so much fun making coffee every day almost every morning when i have this toy out i get coffee made and brought to me by my toddlers and it is the sweetest and they are so proud of it and they love it so plus it's just stinking like adorable are you kidding me like <laughs> that is so cute um next up this is if you don't like noise you might want to stay away from this one but i'm all about my kids exploring learning new things and just having fun with it so i get past the noise because they have fun with it and it keeps them entertained so this is a whole set of wooden instruments so we have like a tambourine and i don't know the names of all of these i'll be 100 percent honest but there's a whole bunch of different um different musical instruments in here we've got lots of different like things they can hit on and anyways there's a good variety of things in here and this keeps them so busy like i said it's loud so you have to know that it's going to be loud and your kids are going to make noise but it keeps them really well entertained they love it and it lasts for a really long time so i put it in there even though i know some people may not love it and if it's not your thing you don't get it but totally makes for a lot of fun in our house okay next up we have another kind of larger in between piece oh, everything's falling on me so there's that um i'm gonna scoot back a little bit and it's just a baby doll stroller it's not working hold on it is a baby doll stroller i'll just hold it up so you guys can kind of see the sides it's just a melissa and doug like wooden stroller and the kids get so much use out of this i highly recommend either like a baby doll stroller or like a shopping cart type situation because my kids kind of use the baby doll stroller as both they'll put babies and stuffed animals in there but they'll also just load it up there's like a pocket in the back and they'll fill the seat in the front and they'll just put a bunch of their toys and like just random things in it and they'll just push it up and down the hallway and they'll go to the store or go to work with it and come back and they just have so much fun imagining and playing so many different things with it both of them this is the most fought over toy in our house, I will say 100% hands down. Even with when other kids come over, it's also the most fought over toy in our house. But they love it, they get so much use out of it. And it's just like a, a fairly simple toy. So highly recommend that. The next thing I have is this little fire truck toy. First of all, how cute. This one is a little brighter than like the toys I typically get, but I think it's adorable. And it has these little, figures in it and you just poke it down and they pop out 
and the kids have so much fun with it i think it teaches them a lot of different fine motor skills and it's fun to watch them like as they get older actually be able to like pop it out rather than just you know push it down <laughs> and wait for it to come up but they also will take these little like peg dolls i guess you could call them and they will use them like in all sorts of different other toys too um just as little people they'll put them in other toys and play with them and it just keeps them really well entertained so love this one and let's see this one's kind of a random one this one is a sensory tool kit so i love sensory activities i do them really often with my kids they're super easy to do and not overwhelming and they keep them really busy and so this is like a little kit of a bunch of different like wooden accessories like a little pot um we have like a little plate uh all sorts of different like goblet type situations and let's see i mean just really all sorts of different like utensil type things and we love these for sensory activities all we've used them for so many things we've used them with rice we've used them with beans we've used them with play-doh we've used them just for pretending to cook with i mean really the list is endless on what you can do with them um but it's a fairly simple thing but honestly we've gotten so much use out of this and it's so nice to have and just pull out with like any sensory activity that we're doing to have like these little utensils that make it so much more fun to play and scoop and pour and all of those things so definitely recommend that and along the lines of the music note i had to mention this because this is also a very well used item in our home a little kids ukulele and it's adorable it's lasted really well again this is another loud one so if you don't want a lot of loud music in your house maybe don't get this one but it's good quality we've recommended this to several friends who have also gotten it because their kids came over for play dates and they absolutely loved it my kids will run around the house making up their songs and singing and humming and all of the things and it's precious so definitely definitely love that one this one i'm gonna keep it in the box but this is a water mat that i got from amazon and it rolls out to a good size and there's little markers in it that you fill with water and they can just draw on the mat it is the easiest activity for like a rainy day or the winter when you've been stuck inside for days because it's freezing cold outside you can just lay this out on your living room floor there's like different stamps in there that they can use with the water it doesn't make any mess at all there's so many options for them to play with and it keeps them busy for a really long time so we love that one okay this one let's see if i can kind of show you is little blocks i'm going to show you the picture in just a second but there's all these different blocks that you can basically build your own little city with so there's all these little like this one's like an ice cream parlor and there's little cars that come in it that you can play with different stop signs you can put like the ice cream sign on it um all sorts of like customizable little things to make your own city and trying to see if i can find some of the pieces it comes in this little muslin bag which one is really handy to just keep it all together it also comes with these pieces this puzzle that you roll that you put together and it makes like this mat that you can play with the cars on and build the city on if you want to i'll show you kind of a picture so that you can kind of see what it looks like so there's like a million different ways that you can build this city and i will say even from the age of like one my kids have loved it they'll just stack the blocks on top of each other and make different things and obviously like they're not fully making a city at that age but now that camden is almost three she is making a city and so she's wanting me to like look in this little book and make the different there's like different um ways that you can set them up to look like different shops and things like that and so she's asking me to set them up in that way and help show her how to do it and make like the full city and so it's one that i feel like really does grow with them a lot blocks in general i think are really just a good open-ended toy they can do literally so many things with them and build so many things but these also come in cute colors and then have like the little city embellishments on it that just make it really fun um and the little cars and different vehicles and things like that and so i think this one's a fun one if you have kids of like varying ages i think that all of the ages really can have a lot of fun with this one okay next up we have a little vet kit this is from amazon too most of these things are from amazon um i love etsy too but i my newest thing has been finding small businesses on amazon because then you can have prime shipping and they come even faster for whatever you're needing them for you don't have to wait as long and you're still supporting small businesses so that's kind of what i tend to look for on amazon these days um but anyways this is a little vet kit it has 
the cutest like it has a cone and a little stethoscope um all sorts of different like got a little shot thing and little bandages and so my kids this is a little stuffed goat that my kids um great grandma their baku got for them anyways because we have goats but um they will take all of their stuffed animals and they will just bandage them up and fix them up and they love playing with it so it's a great like you know creative play type little kit and my kids love stuff like that so i thought this one was a cute one to include if your kids also love stuffed animals because my kids are obsessed and if they like creative play the next thing is this board and you've probably seen boards like this before and yes we're missing the star at the moment and i don't know where it is but that's okay so um any board like this is just so handy because they can draw on it I'm sure you've seen them probably a million times. You can draw all over it. The little stamps, you can stamp on it. It is, like I said, another one that just is really used so often. And also, this is the best travel toy. So if you don't have one of these or something like this, get it before you go on a road trip and give this to your toddlers. And it will keep them occupied for quite a long time without even having to use screens, which is always a win in my book. So the last thing, let's see. Okay, this might seem like a random one, but this is a balance bike, and I'm sure many of you have heard of this as well. I just brought this in from the garage really quick because this is a great outside toy, and we got it, Camden got it for her second birthday last year, and she has loved it. It helps teach them how to balance before they get a tricycle. She's actually going to be getting like a full-blown tricycle for her birthday this year in a few weeks. Um... But this has been really awesome and she loves to take it on walks and she'll just run alongside and Knox is starting to play with it too. So it's one I just wanted to mention because if you don't already have one for toddlers aged like one to three, it's a great option for an outside toy that will help them learn along the way and help improve their balance and all of that. So I wanted to mention that one really quickly. Okay, this toy is like a building toy. Um, I don't know, the brand is Young Bricks. So I'm gonna gonna be linked below um but they're just these little toys that they just they stick together and you can build all sorts of things with them and my kids got it as a gift i think for easter or something and they have built so many things with it both camden and knox so ages you know almost three and one and a half they both love it knox especially honestly even more than camden he'll he just carries them around everywhere, loves building things with them, and he will do it for so long, and Camden loves it as well. So this is a really good one um, if you don't have a lot of like building toys like this. I feel like a lot of toys like that aren't meant for little kids, and you have to like kind of wait until they're older to get some of those fun building toys and blocks and things like that, and this is one that is safe for them and that they can do at a really young age. I know magnetiles are another one that's like a huge hit, and we waited until they were a little bit older to get that, but that's going to be one of their like big Christmas gifts this year because I've heard about magnetiles for so long, and it's something that I've had on my list and wanted to get them, but I just wanted to wait until they were a little bit older and would actually use it, um, but I feel like this has worked like until they were old enough to play with that quite well and I'm sure that they will continue to play with it even if we have other options available. The last two things that I'm going to mention are kind of generic and so I wasn't going to mention them but they are ones that our kids get so much use out of. The first being some sort of train set. Obviously there are a million different train sets. I don't have a specific one that I'm like sold on. I'll link one below that we have. I think I think any train set is awesome. Um, but my kids will play with these for a long time, building tracks and all that. Knox especially loves trains right now. And then the other thing that I did not get out is cooking utensils. So any sort of like, we have a bunch of different wooden food sets. Um, we have the kind that you can like cut open um, that have Velcro in the middle, or we have different pots and pans and things like that. And my kids absolutely love any sort of cooking type role play situation toy. So. I'm sure your kids would also love that and again there's like a million and one things of trains and cooking things but I just wanted to mention it so that you guys knew like that was one that really does get a lot of time at our house. I hope that this video was helpful in giving you some ideas for either your own toddlers or toddlers that are in your life for Christmas gifts and all of that. I would love to know are you guys the kind of people leave a comment below and let me know are you the kind of people that already have like your whole Christmas list accomplished crossed off bought everything ready to go or are you just starting to shop or have you not started shopping yet i'd love to know which kind of person you are i 
I'm in the category of the kind of person that I just like to shop like when it's actually Christmas season. I don't know why. I just, I really like to like make a day of going out and getting coffee and being out when all the lights are out and the Christmas music is on and I don't know I just think it's really fun so I prefer to wait until closer to Christmas to get my list done I, I like my goal is always to get it done before you know like at least like a week before Christmas that's my goal but I'm not the person that orders gifts in July at all <laughs> and to the people out there that do that all props to you but that is just it's not who I am so I'm sorry to disappoint you but anyways leave a comment below because I would be curious to know like what kind of person you are and also just watched a video from a channel that I really love watching um this golden hour Steph just shared a video on Amazon gift ideas for kids and she has four kids I think ages like nine all the way down to one I believe something like that she shares some like farm stuff and gardening stuff, a lot of motherhood content. Her channel's great, so definitely go check it out. But go check out her video. I'll link that below so that you guys can go see it because she had some awesome ideas for older kids. And if you have like a wider range of kid ages, it might be really helpful for you to check out. But I hope that this video was helpful in some way to give you just some new ideas or some new toys to check out. Toys are something that I'm just really passionate about, having toys that help my kids learn and the different developmental stages that they're in that just help them be really creative and independent and just have a lot of fun with it because you know play is how kids learn and so I feel like it is really important to just prioritize that and it's something that's really fun for me to do and the kids love you know having the toy rotation and all of that so I hope it was helpful in some way and if you're new around here and you like this video I would love if you subscribe and follow along and I'll be sharing more motherhood and homemaking content like this and I can't wait to talk to you soon so bye friends and now I'm sitting on the floor avoiding getting up because the aftermath of filming this video is that let's see turn you around I have like a bajazillion toys just sitting around that I now need to pick up and do the toy rotation and get put away and I don't have the motivation at the moment to do that so thanks for watching friends